So when we first started to develop the game, we wanted to really focus on a few things. And when we looked at what those things were, we came up with three pillars, bullets, blades, and blood. And blood being our most kind of important one because you're constantly killing Zeds. Just think of any of those great, ridiculous um, Sam Peckinpah movies or anything like, anything like that you've seen over the years. You know, slow motion bits flying everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we, we loved it in the first game. We just wanted more in the second game. We wanted to think of, you know, we've been looking at how do you spice up every system that's in the, uh, in the original. We looked at tons of different games and, and took what we thought was best out of all of them. And one of the really big inspirations we had was Soldier of Fortune, which had a really awesome, you know, gore system where you could like blow a chunk off his head, you could stab into his brain, you know, blood could be pouring out of his face. And we, and we, we thought that would be perfect in a game like Killing Floor. It was called the Ghoul System back in the day, and uh, we wanted to make a really cool name for our gore system too. We call it the Meat System. It stands for Massive Evisceration and Trauma. So basically the meat system is about blowing stuff up and blowing it up in tons of different chunks. The meat system is really just a collection of different individual systems all working together to deliver this advanced dynamic core system that you see in Killing Floor 2. So we have 22 different spots on, on each creature that you can explode off of them. You can blow chunks off each side of the head, you can blow their jaw off, you can blow their guts out, you can cut them in half, you can blow them, blow them up vertically, horizontally, take their hands, arms, legs, forearms, <laughs> pretty much just about any piece of the body that you shoot, you can blow off of the Zed. I mean, you could tear up uh, a Zed into what, about five, five parts in the old game. This time around, we thought it was about 19, but apparently we had a recount recently, and um, the vote now comes out at 22 parts so you can dismember any Z into. I think we're just losing count. It's lots. So you had five for the body in, in Killing Floor 1. Uh, you have five for just the head in Killing Floor 2. And you get uh, one or two chunks off will reveal the skull, and then the second or third chunk will actually explode the head, and you get that satisfying kind of brain splash effect that you get in KF1. The, the head gore and the gore in general is just all about player feedback. Uh, you shoot a Zed and you know, massive gore happens on the other end. We're working on uh, some obliteration tech and that's when, uh, when enough damage happens to the Zed that they just completely obliterate. So say I throw a grenade runner right underneath the Zed's foot and it explodes. His whole entire body is going to explode into a shower of blood and you're gonna see brains and guts, organs, splatter all over the place. Get a squishy brain on the ground or some uh, soft body intestines that you can kick around uh, when you're running around. You know, it looks really gross, but it's really cool for a game like Killing Floor. In a game where you're constantly killing stuff, it's really important that that's gratifying. And basically when you do that, that is the reward you get. So uh, what we did is we developed a system with over 90 animations per creature, depending on what zone of the body you hit, will play a different animation. And that's all randomized as well. So the amount of variation is, is almost infinite. Another cool thing that you can do is if you shoot a guy and you keep repeatedly shooting him, it will blend into each additional animation. So say I shoot the guy in the chest, he'll react to that. And as he's falling, I can then shoot him into, in the neck. Then he'll, he'll freak out because of that. Then I can shoot him in the leg, and then I can blow his head off. Um, it, it looks really awesome. And you're never going to see the same thing twice.